Wednesday so I am back with another vlog and I figured I would start this vlog out with a little Target haul. <laughs> um, I went to Target this morning after dropping the kids off. I needed to return something so I did that and then I picked up a few things but some of the stuff I felt like I wanted to show y'all so I figured I might as well just go ahead and show it to you guys. It wasn't like a big grocery haul because I really didn't need many groceries. I just needed like a couple things. So one of the things that I knew I needed was coffee um, I'm almost out of my K-cup, so I guess I'll show y'all that first. Um, so the coffee I picked up, I pick, actually picked up three types of coffee, but um, this first one looks to be new. It is by the Donut Shop, which I like their coffee, and this is white chocolate and vanilla. So I have never seen this one before, so I'm excited to try this. I know they changed up some of their packaging, so... A lot of the donut shop coffees are like two flavors combined, like nutty caramel is one I get all the time. And I saw that now it's in this kind of box and it says duos on it, but it looks to be the same. It just says like nutty plus caramel, which I don't know. I guess they wanted to make it look new. Maybe it will draw more attention. I don't know. But um, that one is one I like, but I didn't pick it up this time. But this one seems to be new because like I said, I've never seen it before. And I buy this brand coffee a lot. So that's white chocolate and vanilla. I think I may try this one today. And then another one that I picked up was new from Starbucks. And this one is honey and Madagascar vanilla. I hope I like this. Sometimes honey and coffee can go a little bit to the left for me. <laughs> so I felt like I was taking a risk by picking this up, but the box looked really, really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, that's what drew my attention to it. So I wanted to try it. So I went ahead and picked it up. It is limited edition. They do have like a spring blend as well that when you read like the flavor notes on it, it sounded pretty good. Um, but I, I had that one in my hand first, but I decided to get this one instead, um, instead of getting that spring blend from Starbucks. So maybe next time I'll try that one. But yeah, excited to try this one too. And then as I was leaving the coffee aisle, I also picked up this, and this is Black and Bold Specialty Coffee. Now this is ground coffee. Um, I do have the little like K-cup filter thing that you can use in your coffee. Um, like in a K-cup or a Keurig machine, you can pour your own coffee into it. So I will use that for this, but I saw it and it caught my attention because of the packaging. And then I kind of read the back and part of the funds from this coffee go, the 5% of the profits are contributed to initiatives across the U.S. that assist disadvantaged youth. And I looked up the company real quick and they are, they were founded by two black men. I, it looks like they're still the owners. I didn't do like a deep dive in Target, but <laughs> I figured when I saw the name that it was probably a black owned company. So yeah, I tried them out. This was not cheap. It was like 12 bucks. Um, usually for ground coffee, I pay about seven. <laughs> so um, yeah, this was a little splurge for me, but I'm hoping I like it. And it's honestly still a better deal than K-Cups because like I pay like $12 for this too, or no, maybe like $14 for this. Um, but really ground coffee will last me longer. But the one that I picked up, they had a couple different flavors and they actually had beans as well. Um, but the one I picked up is the La, Gu La Guadalupe Honduras blend, I guess. Yeah, it's a light, a light roast and the, the flavor notes are caramel, honey, and creamy body. So yeah, I'm excited to try this one out too. And what else did I buy? Oh, spaghetti sauce. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna make the kids some spaghetti tonight. So I also bought spaghetti. I probably didn't need, but I always like to make sure I have spaghetti in the house. It's like the easiest quick meal. Also picked up this little sweatshirt for Noah for Valentine's Day. I find that he's kind of at the age now where I don't really like to get him Valentine's shirts because number one, there's hardly any available for boys. And then also, I don't know, I mean, was he? does he really need to be walking around with a shirt with hearts on it? I don't know. I'm, it's not really like his thing like he doesn't care about valentine's day he's never asked me for a valentine's shirt to begin with and i just feel like i don't really need to be buying heart shirts for him right now but <laughs> so i just got him this shirt i got um a few weeks ago i found chloe a valentine's day shirt with hearts all over it and so i got him this one to wear on valentine's day yes i'm that mom who buys my kids valentine's day shirts um also picked up some hand sanitizer. I was on clearance. This is actually for my husband. He needs more in his car, but he will never buy it. So yeah. 
And then from the dollar spot, I actually went to the dollar spot because I wanted to see if they had those little, there's some little heart dishes that I've seen some people post on Instagram, but they didn't have them. Um, but that's what I went over there to look for. But while I was over there, I picked up a couple other things. Uh, number one is this little travel case. It's a clear pouch and it's still very durable. And this was only $3. So I know Sephora sells something like this um, for maybe like five or $6. But I felt like for $3, this was a good price and <clears throat> I am going to use it to travel. I'm not going on any like big trips or anything, but I do have a little tiny little weekend trip plan for next month. So I figure that this will be good for that instead of using the regular little Ziploc bags that I usually use. And then I also picked up this. Uh, it's like a, a canvas that you can use for decoration. It just has playroom rules and then don't grow up and then the alphabet and i figured i would use this as decoration in my kids playroom because right now they really don't have any decoration in there so if this was five dollars definitely not a necessity but and then also from the dollar spot i saw these and i'm going to try these in my makeup drawer this is a set of five bins so it has two or four of the smaller bins and then one larger one. And I'm hoping these will fit in my makeup drawers because I am planning on decluttering and kind of reorganizing my makeup. And so I'm hoping these will fit. And if they do fit, I'll probably go back and get some more. So I probably need to try it out today to see if they actually fit in there. But these were only $5 for five bins. So that's pretty cheap. And they're not like the nicest looking things, but they don't look horrible. And they will do the job, I think. So... Um, hopefully these work out. I also picked up my husband an AirPods case. He, um, I got him an AirPods Pro for Christmas and he doesn't have a case for them yet. So I saw this and bought it. It's $3. So we'll see how long it holds up, but I feel like he needs something on it. So that's for him. I also picked up a marble one for me. Not like I needed that, but again, this is why usually I don't even go to the dollar spot anymore because it is just like a money grab. Even though like you can find some good deals, but like I literally didn't need any of that stuff, any of it. Now these bins, I kind of did need um, and I would have paid a lot more for them if I bought them in another section of the store. So, but other than that, I really didn't need anything over there. And then I also needed more mascara. So I picked up the L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara. The one that I'm currently using is like dried out. Um, so yeah, I picked up some more of that. I also picked up a nail polish and this is from Essie. This is the Expressy Quick Dry Nail Color and the shade is Midday Mocha. And I've never tried the, um, the Expressy brand from Essie. So I'm hoping I like this. I'm pretty sure I will. I like Essie nail polishes and I really like this color. And when I do my nails a regular polish, I do like the quick dry nail polishes. I know they don't last long, but no regular nail polish lasts long on me anyway. So if I can do it in five minutes and be done with it, that works for me. So yeah, that's the last thing that I picked up. And yeah, so I am getting ready to um, probably go do my makeup and film some videos. Actually, I'm probably gonna make some coffee first and then go film a video. Um, yeah, and we'll see how that goes. Cause I'm really not, I don't know. I feel like I've been dragging this morning. So we'll see, hopefully I can get done what I wanted to get done today um, so that I can post another video this week for you guys. So anyway, I will see y'all later. So it's been a couple hours and I filmed like two videos. <clears throat> I'm saying like two because these videos are both kind of split, like they're kind of first impressions and then coming back later. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying it like that. But yeah, I filmed about two videos and ate lunch and now I am getting ready to try to edit one of the videos possibly. Um, I don't want to spend too long on it because I need to do some stuff around the house too, but I did um, just make myself some coffee, so I figured I would taste it. I'm trying one of the new ones that I showed y'all. So I'm using my new little mug here um, that I got from Target. Well, it was really not that new anymore. I've had it like a month, but yeah, this is my coffee. I'm drinking the white chocolate and, or yeah, white chocolate and vanilla, and I did just take a sip and it is delicious. 
Um, I tried to record my first sip. However, I realized I did not press record. So I <laughs> take my word for it, but it is really good. So yeah, I'm happy I picked that one up. Also, I don't know if y'all saw I have a new or if I mentioned it in one of my videos, but I got a new camera. This was my Christmas gift from the hubby. And yeah, this is what it looks like. So I don't film for my vlogs. I film on my phone. But for my sit down videos, I do use an actual camera and I prefer the picture quality of the camera. It's just that for vlogs, it's so much easier to use my phone. So I've been thinking about getting a new phone so I can have an upgraded camera right now. <clears throat> I currently have the iPhone 10s, So I don't know. I just, I hate spending money on phones. <laughs> I really do. They're so expensive these days. And, you know, I'm going to use it for the same thing I use it for now. But I don't know. I need my husband has a 12 a iPhone 12 um, Pro or whatever. So I need to try his camera for like a few days and see if it's worth it, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, let me get to editing. I have I'm like I said, I'm going to try to edit at least one of these videos. So, yeah, let me get to it. perfume down here that I'm going to wear today so I might as well share it with you guys um again this is part of a video that I'm filming the perfume I'm getting ready to show you I'm actually in the midst of testing out for one of my love like or letdowns uh videos that I do if you haven't checked those out please do those are like my favorite videos to do right now <laughs> um so I'll show y'all that so the perfume I'm wearing today is Fan Your Flames. And this is, I think, my third or either fourth day wearing it. I think it's my third. Yeah, I believe it's my third. Um, so I'm not going to talk about it because I'm pretty sure that video is not going to be live before this one. <laughs> but I figured I should show y'all my fragrance anyway since I had it down here. Whoa. Yeah, I probably oversprayed. For sure, I oversprayed. I definitely didn't need to spray this, that much of this, but that is Fan Your Flames. 
So first stop is the post office. I gotta drop off a couple packages that I'm sending off. So that took longer than expected. Um, I had to mail off some W-2s for our business um, for some of our employees. And my husband did not put the right postage on there, so I had to like get in line and correct that. So anyway, I have a package that I got in my PO box that nobody sent to me. I actually ordered something and put the wrong address. <laughs> so instead of putting my home address, I actually ended up putting my post PO box. So I'm gonna go change parks and then we're gonna open this package. I didn't wanna open it where I was parked because I was literally right in front of the post office and it felt kind of weird to be filming right there. So here we are, it's kind of bright here. Put my sunglasses on. Can we talk about these sunglasses though? Can we talk about them? So these are from Gucci. And I purchased these. I'll link them down below. I believe it's from Joma Shop is the name of the place I purchased them from. But these were 100% inspired by Simply Kura here on YouTube. If y'all don't follow her, please do. Um, we are around the same age. So if you're kind of in my age range and you like to follow people that are in my age range, follow her. She does an awesome job <laughs> at her videos. She is so creative. All her videos are so well done the music the lighting the actual like editing of it they're all like it looks very profesh but she seems so down to earth and i love it and her style is just top notch um i believe she went to fashion school so most of her channel is about uh fashion but she also loves perfume as well and she also does vlogs she lives in new york city so I, of course, love seeing people vlog like in places like New York and LA, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I love her and um, yeah, check her out. But she is addicted to sunglasses just like me. And she picked these up and as soon as she showed that video, I was adding it to my cart. Like, <laughs> So I'll link her video down below where she um, talked about these sunglasses. And then I'll also link the actual sunglasses, the ones I purchased down below because they were a really good price. Um, a lot of Gucci sunglasses run for like anywhere between four to six hundred dollars. These were nowhere near that. These were less than two hundred. So, anyway, my package is actually some perfume that I ordered that I do not need. Um, but I found a pretty decent deal for this on Mercari and. This perfume has been like on my, I kind of want it list for so long, but it's one of those ones that I feel like I've never had a chance to really wear. So I've smelled it in store before, but I just feel like for me, if I don't have a sample, me smelling in the store just doesn't like, I don't know, I'm never really convinced because it's not the same and I'm always wearing perfume. So usually if I'm in a store, I don't just spray it on myself because I'm already wearing perfume. So anyway, the fragrance I'm talking about is from Tom Ford and this is Soleil Neige. And it is super bright today. So hopefully this is not blinding you guys because it's a silver box. And she put it in there upside down. <laughs> it's supposed to sit in there like this. Uh, yeah. I don't think she's a big Tom Ford person, obviously, but um, maybe that's why I got a good deal on it. But everything seems legit. I know I've told y'all buying perfumes like from a car, you need to be careful because people do sell fakes sometimes and sometimes they don't even know they're selling fakes, but everything seems legit on this. I have smelled it before, so um, that's another thing. And I just wanted to check the level so I can tell it's as full as she said it was. So awesome this is what the bottle looks like and i guess i did not park in a great spot because it's really bright here but it's a white bottle with silver writing on it or a silver label so this fragrance to me is one that is different and I've always liked the smell of it, but I was never really sure because, you know, this is an expensive fragrance and I've never worn it. And it's kind of like a bright, light scent, but it's something herbal in there as well that kind of makes it different. So you definitely get like citrus and brightness from the citrus, maybe like bergamot it smells like. 
but then it also smells herbal or aromatic so i'm not sure what's in there maybe lavender I'm, i don't know but it smells really nice and refreshing and i think this is marketed as a winter scent but to me this smells like spring summer but again i have not actually worn this it does smell like super good super refreshing a little bit fruity but not i don't know there's like a something cold to it i've heard other people say that and i feel like it's just a great way to describe it that even though it's bright and citrusy and all there's something cold to this i can't wait to actually wear this of course i'm not going to put it on today because i am wearing the other fragrance but i needed to pick that up so yeah put this in my glove compartment or no all right so now let me head on over to nordstrom i meant to make myself some coffee at home to bring with me but i forgot so i kind of want some coffee but i'm not gonna pass well i am gonna pass the starbucks on my way to nordstrom but it's on the opposite side of the street so that's probably not happening so we'll see maybe you know what I'll do? I'll go to the Nordstrom Cafe. So what I'll do is I'll go pick up my alterations and then I'll just get a coffee from the Nordstrom Cafe. Cause that'll be something different that I don't always drink. And um, I don't think I'm gonna walk through the mall or anything. I think I'm just gonna go pick that up and then leave. <laughs> Cause I don't need to be spending any money and there's nothing that I necessarily need to look at out there. Um, yeah. So I'm probably just gonna go to Nordstrom only. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. So I got my alterations and uh, they look good. I didn't try them on, I just kind of like looked over them. <laughs> Cause I was being lazy, I'm sure they're fine. I was just getting a hem done in the pants. So that's like the easiest thing ever. And then the blazer that I also took in there to get taken in, um, I did kind of like look at it just to make sure it looked even but I didn't feel like trying it on because I wouldn't have been able to try it on over this sweater obviously I was not thinking when I decided to put this on but I picked up this lavender chai from Nordstrom Cafe it's amazing it is amazing I'm really hungry I haven't eaten any breakfast today but it's still early it's only 11 a.m. so it's kind of early for lunch per se like right at this moment uh so i think i'm just gonna head back to my side of the t my side of town and i don't know today on fridays are supposed to be like my day to like decompress to have some time to myself and kind of just have fun friday pretty much um but i don't know like i want to go eat some lunch somewhere like at a restaurant but i can't think of anything that i really want that's not going to be extremely unhealthy you know um so yeah we'll see <laughs> we'll see if i end up going anywhere or if i just end up back home i'll let y'all know because as of right now i'm kind of like what am i doing here what am i doing with my life so yeah i'm just gonna head back to my side of town and see what happens Literally the only person in the restaurant right now. <laughs> So it's much later in the day and I just got my HelloFresh delivery. So I figured out open it on camera. Um, and then I got one other delivery that has been, should have been delivered like a week ago, but it kind of got lost in the mail. Not really lost, but you know, you know how the mail is right now. So I'll show y'all that in a second. But HelloFresh, I have been a member of for forever, but I've meant to cancel my subscription for literally years at this point. So I just literally go on there and skip as far out as I can. And 
yeah, I'm good at that. However, my husband signed up one time because they were doing a promo at one of our studios and, um, or they were at like one of our events. And so he got a good deal. So he signed up, but he forgets to skip. So therefore we got a box and we didn't even get to pick out the meal. So this will be a surprise to me is what we got. But the good thing about it is at least like I was gonna go to the grocery store today. I still am gonna have to go to the grocery store, but probably not today, but I'll still need to go get snacks. But at least this would be like meals for the next week or so for us. So let's see what we got. So this first one is Italian chicken over lemony spaghetti. So I feel like whenever we don't pick something, they send us some sort of pasta, which I'm really trying to stay away from. I didn't tell y'all yet, but I'm not on keto anymore. And it's probably, it's mainly because of my husband. He convinced me to get off of it. But we are still mindfully eating and still trying to be, I'm still trying to be low carb somewhat, but I'm not on keto. So, but pasta is not something that I would be eating generally. So what we'll probably do is cook this. He'll probably eat this pasta and I'll just eat the chicken and like other vegetables that go with it. But um, the meals are always good with HelloFresh. I've never, oh, I've tried one other food service called Sun Basket, I think, and I wasn't impressed. I did not like that one. So HelloFresh never steers me wrong. <laughs> Next up is another carb loaded meal. See, I hate when this happens. Uh, this is fully loaded pork taquitos. So I'm probably just gonna end up eating this one because I don't see how I can do this. I'm not gonna wanna just eat the pork by itself unless my husband just eats this one by himself. I don't know. And then the last one is mozzarella stuffed caprice burgers, which is kind of weird, um, but I can definitely eat this one just without the bun. And then it comes with the like home fries as well. So I don't know, This is these are all not meals that I would have chosen, <laughs> but since he forgot to skip, here we are. <laughs> anyway, the other package I actually did choose and here it is. This is from Etsy. Well, I ordered it from Etsy and the shop name is called The Mask Shop. And if you follow my blog, I'm not that consistent on there, but I have been, you know, I do most, on most Sundays, I do post like things that I've had my eye on or things that caught my eye this week. So if you're not following my blog, I'll link it down below like I always do. But in a few of those, I've shown some repurposed like Chanel jewelry. So basically when I say repurposed, people get like Chanel buttons or whatever and then they make jewelry out of it. So I've gone back and forth on this. Like, is this a fake? Is this a replica? Cause technically, Chanel didn't like make this into a necklace or make this into an earring, but it is authentic Chanel parts. So, you know, feel how you will about that. But I decided to pick one up finally. They've, I, they've caught my eye over and over again for like the past year. <laughs> but uh, they sent this nice card. This is really nice. So thank you card. Whoop. Little thank you card. And then they also sent me a discount card, a disc, uh, can't talk. They sent me a discount in here as well, but it's a QR code, so I won't show it to you guys because it, it looks like it's only a one-time use, but um, yeah. So then they actually wrapped my package here. And here they are. So these are Chanel buttons that have been repurposed as earrings. And I was worried that these may be too big, but I think I love the size so far. So let's see, yes. I think those are gonna look really good. And um, here are the backs on these, just the regular backs. So I'm hoping that these are not too heavy. They don't feel heavy right now, but um, yeah, I think these are really cute. And this is not like, I don't know if Chanel has ever made earrings that look exactly like this, um, but a lot of their buttons look very similar to this. So I'm not sure if they've ever had actual earrings like this, but a lot when you see the repurposed Chanel buttons, there are quite a few styles that look like this. But I like this gold one. I, also, I like a lot of the colors, to be completely honest. 
but I figured I would try one and just go from there. And just looking at the construction of it, it actually looks pretty well done. Cause I kind of Googled how people repurpose these <laughs> just to see. Um, I got earrings in, so I can't really put them on, but this particular brand, I think for their posts, they use, I think it's, um, it's either gold filled or gold plated. I can't remember um, on the posts. If, yeah, I'll link them down below though. So you guys can check them out if you're interested. And they were actually pretty decently priced. I did kind of want like some black ones or some white ones. So if these work out well for me, maybe I will pick up some other colors in the future. So yeah, really like these so far and they look really good. They feel like they're gonna be relatively lightweight too. So super excited to finally get these in the mail. Um, I have been chilling for like the last hour just watching TV. <laughs> And um, yeah, I have probably another hour or so before I need to leave here to go pick up the kids or I gotta go take Noah to get a haircut and then pick up Chloe, so yeah. Uh, but I'm just enjoying my me time right now. I'm not really doing anything. I may finish filming a video that I started, but I'm not completely like 100% sure I'm gonna do that either. So yeah, I hope y'all are having a happy Friday or whenever you see this. If I if I do anything or if anything interesting comes up that I want to talk about, I'll come back to y'all. But other than that, I will be ending the vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.